Hey guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, do what you do, leave your questions and comments below, and let's get to it. So I don't know that I've ever shown you guys the razor. I may have a while back, I'm not sure. Probably some pictures of it on Instagram. But I've never had it out to Bushcraft Ridge because I don't have a trailer yet. And I got tired of waiting for myself to buy a trailer and went and rented this six by 12 foot U-Haul trailer and let's see how mad they are when I uh, bring it back with all this mud on it. So what I'm going to do today is there's no good trail all the way to the top of the ridge. The actual ridge where there's an old logging road at the top. I started cutting one. You guys know this trail goes up to um, my camp and where we're building the cabin. But I started this and I actually took some YouTube video um, you see my white line my boundary marker right here it runs uh, on a 229 degree azimuth for I don't know a thousand feet and I started cutting this a while back just by walking it and cutting it by hand so today we're gonna get the razor and I'm gonna make it all the way to the top I don't know how much I'm gonna film or how exhausted I'm gonna be but I'll try to stop along the way and give updates uh, if you guys saw the dump your ruck, I've got my day pack out here. The only thing extra, uh, somebody recommended that I put um, <laughs> some food bars in there. And I did throw one kind bar in there. I actually had a big breakfast. Um, but I brought my compass because you can't guess at a 229 degree asthma. Uh, I actually have shots of my survey. So... I know where all of the points are, and I know what the azimuth is from point to point. We're just going to start up there and make it to the top. And because nothing's easy, uh, I immediately ran into this tree that I forgot about. I've actually already moved it. I moved the pieces over there. Um, uh, but I know how you guys like seeing my feats of strength. This is a CRKT Parang. Um, called half a chance it's a it's a shorter version of the parang that I put in my shin about three years ago all the way to the bone so I know it's a good blade I uh, this was out here in the way I saw this a while back chainsawed it moved all those pieces over there and then just picked this guy up Kind of deadlifted it and moved it over. Uh, well, I don't have my gloves on now, but uh, uh, you get the point. And found some barbed wire underneath that. So I'm going to have to make sure I have something in here to cut barbed wire with, or I'm going to run back to the truck and get some pliers. All right, so when I did my dump your ruck the other day, nobody pointed out that my Gerber wasn't in that pack. <laughs> I had to uh, run back to the truck and get uh, wire cutters to cut this barbed wire. Um, and we're not gonna be able to keep going up this path. Uh, it gets too steep. And you see right about here, <laughs> I couldn't go any, oh, I couldn't go any further. Um, and my, well, that's my front tire did that, so it was in four-wheel drive. I tried high, low. Um, it just, it's too steep right here. And it gets even steeper right up there. I had imagined it kind of making it up there, but... <laughs> I don't think it's going to. So, instead of doing that, we're going to um, cut a path into here, into some more of this flatter stuff. And there might be another way, there might be a way to cut another trail over to the cabin. So I'm gonna go right through here. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Whew. Guys, this is the same shot about three hours later you can see i am soaked exhausted 
Let's see how far we got. Oh my goodness. Oh, Chad from Chad's Adventures once said, watching me makes him tired. Well, at least I didn't make you watch this time. So, uh, see my brush pile over here to the right. I just basically cleared out everything that was smaller than wrist size. So whether it was brush, living, a lot of little beech trees that were wrist size or smaller, cleared them all out. See my brush piles over here. There's a lot of dead trees like that that had fallen down here that were blocking the way. Rolled them off in there, moved them over. This was all nothing but uh, hands and a hatchet. Ugh. So, see, that's my other path right over there. Can make a good little trail through here once I, you see I got another brush pile of logs over there where I was rolling stuff. Um, path right, make a path right there. But we got all the way in here and cleared off this nice little area. Uh, I drove up here. Uh, oh my goodness. I'm not going to be able to walk up this hill. Uh, oh, and look what we found. Hey! It's up for my cabin. Look at that. This is a. Uh, this is gonna come down. This is dead and dying. So I'm gonna take the hatchet to that, get that down, and then clear off the rest of this little brush right through here, right there, and then we'll be able to get all the way. To the well it's not gonna be a back door but <laughs> to the back side oh man so much work yeah probably you know what probably make the trail come right up through there right through here she'll fit right through that gap and then make the trail run down there back over to the other trail I think that's what I'm gonna do and so there'll be a loop all right guys uh, I'm about to pass out so I'm not gonna do any more today uh, I'm staying hydrated but it's so humid here I'm sweating it out just as fast as I can get it in that's what she said so let me know what you think <laughs> below man i need to work on cardio Whew. and i'll see you on the ridge